Hi everyone, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. So today I'm doing a Goodwill Blue Box Jewelry unboxing. However, I've already gone through everything. I've done previous boxes from other videos. It took way too long and this way it's more organized. I can get to the point, move on. Okay, so this box is from New Jersey. They are $30, $5 shipping. They drop every Friday night, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. They sell out in about two minutes, limit to two boxes per customer. I tried buying two boxes. It wouldn't let me. I could only buy one. So, uh, but I'm happy with that because this, excuse me, is so profitable. This is my third Goodwill Blue Box for jewelry and they have not disappointed me at all. Let's get started. First, I'm going to share with you, I got this box. I ordered it two Fridays ago, and I usually receive them within five days. And I've already listed the nicer items that are usually stamped, like fine metal, if it's like gold, if it's uh, a designer piece, or if it's silver. I usually list those first because they typically sell better and for higher profits. Okay. Going to share with you items that have already sold. I started listing them Saturday or Sun. No, today's Sunday. Sorry. Um, I started listing them Friday. And here we go. Put pictures up here. A ceramic cross necklace. It was handmade, beautiful colors, as you can see. And unfortunately, there is no like maker mark. And I had it listed on my card for $25. Somebody sent me an offer for $20 just like an hour ago. And I gladly accepted. On Mercari, I usually raise uh, eBay. I price to sell. Mercari, I raise um, probably like 10% for offers to likers. Well, I'm sorry. People will send me offers, which I love because on Poshmark, most of my sales are me sending offers to likers. So Mercari, it's kind of easier. But... The next piece was a vintage turquoise rhinestone brooch. I almost didn't list this, but you guys, brooches are completely surprising me. Facebook Marketplace, from my previous videos, is like becoming a side piece to me. It's I love it, but it's lower end pieces, and that's completely fine with me. I really don't mind. So this one sold overnight, um, probably within four hours of listing for $10. It was not marked, but it is a beautiful blue, blue jewelry. Is just it's sought after okay the next is something I always do with the pieces I don't want to sell from my Goodwill blue box so like I said these boxes are five pounds technically I always weigh mine when I receive it just to know that I'm not getting gypped so my boxes are always over five pounds this one was five pounds and five ounces okay so let's see so about half of my box is junk so it's usually about two and a half pounds. I had a few pieces of mine that I, I personally had that had broke. So I threw those in with it and uh, it came to three pounds. And so I put it for $15 and it sold within one day on Facebook. Normally if it's two and a half pounds, I'll just list it for $10 and it will sell within a couple hours. This one was three pounds, so I listed it for 15. And then the buyer pays $12 for shipping. It works. Okay, and then the last piece that has sold so far is this, and I almost didn't list this one either. Jewelry is just like, I know an, like a sum, but it is completely shocking me what's actually selling. So the last piece that has actually sold is a vintage, and it could, no, it's not antique. It almost looks antique. Uh, a vintage hand-painted flower brooch. I don't know the border detail. It uh, it reminds me of like a platter, the shape of it, but it was really pretty, well done, and it was signed by Carol. Looked up that name, couldn't find anything, so I just listed it on Facebook for $10, and it sold overnight. So the sales that are like $10 and under, I just put on Facebook Marketplace. All right, so there are still probably about five, no, Fine. There's about 10 pieces that I have photographed I already have listed and put away. So I will just put pictures up here to reference for you guys. So I'm going to go over the silver or gold pieces with you. And I have always gotten at least a few silver and gold pieces. They don't, in their disclosure, 
it's like repurposed jewelry, so you're going to get broken pieces, missing earrings, but you will get nice stuff as well. So the the broken pieces, I just, you know, I sell as a lot on Facebook. Okay, first one, which is a new brand to me, I've gotten two pieces from this box, and I actually forgot to write down the other one. The first one, I think, was a Silpata ring. It was marked 925 sterling silver, and I don't think I've sold that one yet. People price theirs, like, all over the place. I'm trying to be competitive with my jewelry pricing because since my buy-in price is incredibly low, I'm just trying to move the pieces, um, but also I don't want to undervalue them as far as, like, uh, the weight per gram, what it's going for currently on the market. So, um, I can't remember where I put the ring at. I'll put a picture up there. But I also got a Sopata necklace. And I'll show you the logo to be on the lookout for. Um, it's a good quality, respected jewelry company. It has a lot of followers. So, I got this cutout flower necklace marked 925 with Sopata's logo on it. Thank you, Google Lens, for letting me know what that brand was because I did not know. So I have the necklace listed for $30. People have it listed for like $25 to $80 all over the place. So I listed mine for $30 and I already have two watchers and I think I just listed that like one or two days ago. So I think that will sell within this next week. The next one is actually nothing special, but I love the style of it. It's very 90s. It's a choker collar necklace. It's like a silver tone with an abstract pendant. It's two circles uh, overlapping each other. Like the color, it's like a, a green and a gold and a brown. No markings, but it's, it's a really nice necklace. So I did put that up for like $15. And, or no, I think I marked it for $20 and then I'll probably lower it to $15 if it doesn't sell. But I personally really like it. So some of the pieces will be like cheap items that you would see at like Charming Charlie's and they're more trendy and I typically keep those. I am going to probably lot some up together, but I like to wear jewelry myself. Okay, so the next piece is 925 sterling silver and it is like a three, three tiered pendant of abalone and abalone gets confused frequently with mother of pearl so the difference between the two because i googled it is abalone is the outside of the shell the inside of the shell is mother of pearl so there's the difference i'll um put a picture of each they they have similar sheens like similar tones but abalone is usually um, thicker and has different tones like I think this one this necklace here had hues of like uh, almost orange and brown really pretty and then the bottom teardrop pendant is like a, a wine red and I don't think this one was marked as far as a maker but it was stamped 925 so that one's pretty I have that listed for $30 the next piece is also marked 925 sterling silver I can't remember if it was a Cuban chain. There's different types of chains on necklaces that people will search for. So simply Google necklace chain style chart or something like that. And you can see all the different kinds. So um, this one, I think that what has going for this silver necklace is it's 31 inches long. That's really long for a standard necklace. And since it is silver, that increases its value as well. So I actually marked that at $50. Now, when I'm going through comps, what's shocking to me is these brand new pieces that probably come from China but are stamped silver or 925, they don't have much of a resale value. Like, even if, even if that's new and... I don't know what it is, but people like to buy used jewelry online, and I don't know if it's because they feel like it's better quality or what, but that's just a little opinion of mine. Okay, the next piece I was super excited about, new brand to me, very unique style. The brand is Ayala Bar, and I'm probably mispronouncing that. I'll put the... Um, name up here because it is stamped on the jewelry 
it was on the back of the pendant and then it was on the um, hanging of the clasp. So it's very like bohemian, almost eclectic. And this designer, I went to their website and the necklaces go for like 100 to 400, over $400. And she has different collections or he, I don't know who the designer is. And um, different colors go for the different collections. I could not find the necklace that I'm selling under a current collection. And so um, I don't know if that kind of hurts it as far as somebody searching for the specific necklace, but I will tell you, I marked this necklace for, and it's not stamped silver or anything. I don't know if it is silver and I just can't see the marking because sometimes they can be very tricky to find. But I listed this for a hundred dollars, just kind of like, okay, whatever. Um, because it's not near as elaborate as some of her other necklaces that are, I would consider those statement necklaces. This is, um, kind of in between a statement and a pendant necklace. It almost reminds me of a chandelier. And I have it listed for $100, and I think I just listed that one yesterday. And I have two watchers, so I'm, I'm confident. Okay, so the next one, I didn't know this as, as well. It was a pearl necklace, and it's hard to distinguish pearls from imitation pearls, but real pearls have weight to them and they almost feel gritty. People say to put them on your teeth. I can't remember if I actually did that. It's kind of gross, but, um, but the clasp was stamped 585. And I'm like, what is 585? I looked it up, guys. It's 14 karat gold. So there are little gold beads in between these pearls. And so why would they put real gold with fake pearls? Plus they had weight, so I'm pretty confident that they are authentic pearls. They're like a silver gray, really nice color. I like the contrast between the silver and the gold. I listed that necklace for $100. So if you can see the pattern here, and with the items I've already sold, I've already sold four. And like I said, I've listed them maybe a few pieces just two days ago, and I've already made 40, okay, $55. So I'm already in the green. Okay. The next few pieces that I've already listed aren't near as exciting. I just listed these on Facebook Marketplace, but jewelry gets quite a few views on Facebook. It just, it does. So one of them I listed just based off of style. It's like a hammered gold tone layered necklace. Uh, layered necklaces are really trending and I really liked it's got like three interlocked rings um, and a pattern all around the necklace and so I just listed that one for ten dollars all of these trendy um, cheaper necklaces I can sell for ten dollars on Facebook I don't get it I really don't but um, if people are willing to pay that that's okay and I typically don't sell the cheaper jewelry unless it's in like new condition. If there's tarnishing and like, and stuff like that, I'm just going to put it in the, um, the junk box because I don't want to sell something that's cheap and it's worn. It looks worn. So, okay. The next one is a cocktail ring. I almost didn't list this, but I think people love yellow and it was an expandable, it's an expandable ring so it can fit many sizes. And so I just put it up for $8. Um, I mean, I don't like to sell things for that cheap, but like I just sold an Under Armour um, compression shirt for $5 on there that I've had forever. So it's okay. Uh, the next one is, I listed it based off of style because like the gold rope chains, gold necklace in general, seems to be quite popular this last year. So it's not marked. It almost has like a brass tone. It does have weight to it, but it is magnetic. And I have that one listed for 10. And then Alex and Ani, I think that's how you pronounce it. They were really big, what, five to eight years ago. And I have, this is, I now have three bar bangles of theirs. I received two in this box. And uh, I listed, I just listed them on Poshmark and Facebook because our resale value is not 
very much. Um, they go for like $10. However, on Poshmark, I've already had quite a few uh, likes for them. And so I think I can get maybe a little bit more on Poshmark for them. I'm guessing like 15 to 18 each. And then the last piece I have listed is a memorial necklace. It's uh, like an angel wing. I think there was a heart and I think it said love and it was silver and gold. It's cute or it is cute. I still have it. And so uh, that one's just on Facebook. So now I have, what I do is I sort my jewelry. I sort my necklaces want and well my necklaces and jewel and bracelets and then I separate the earrings elsewhere because you have to find the mate to the earring and I found quite a few of the mates to these earrings. I've probably forgotten some of this. Um so you'll be going with through it with me. I try not to put any uh well I make sure not to put any marked silver or gold in my craft um boxes that I sell on Facebook because I sell them for so cheap and I if it's like like what I'm doing here is this is a 925 sterling silver really weird like I think it's misshaped but it's hideous in my opinion and um this one is marked see this is what I do to see up close this one is marked sterling I think it's a sterling right there and so I'm just going to keep it and um, you can send in silver and gold to companies and get paid out for its weight. So these are super funky. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna list them by themselves or, where's the mate? Okay, well it's somewhere. Uh, I love these very, uh, I would call these like bohemian, wouldn't you? And they're very lightweight, like you think they'd have weight, but they don't. And then, do I have this other earring? Maybe I've already put away. Maybe not. A 925 silver hoop. like the shape of it a little bit. We have, are these marked? No, I don't think so. Just like a fashion hoop that I will probably, um, earrings don't, uh, if they're unbranded and stuff, uh, the resale value is pretty much non-existent. So I will probably just pair up like earrings and sell them in lots. This one, I was shocked. I don't think, see, this is how I look. Yeah, this one's not marked. So it's just a plain chain. If I come across a pendant, I'll put the pendant on there and sell it. Okay, and I use tissues to keep everything separated because they come in the box and sometimes they can be tangled. So this way they are not. I absolutely love this stretchy choker because well, I like the colors, but it's from the icing or icing, whatever it was called. Very uh, like 90s Y2K. Do you remember going there? It's like a similar thing to Claire's. So it's just like one of those stretchy chokers and it's actually really comfortable. So I'm just going to probably put that on Facebook for $10. What is next? Okay, here we have a fashion silver pendant necklace and it is actually marked NY which is New York and Company so I'm going to list this with a similar necklace here is one that is also a cheap fashion necklace that is like a woven pearls imitation pearls by the way you cannot put the words imitation pearls in your Facebook listing because they see imitation and you can't sell fake stuff like counterfeit purses and brands on there. So it got flagged. Just so you know, don't put imitation in your title, but you can put it in your description. Here's just a cute little, um, simple, is it gold or rose gold? Yeah, gold, gold tone. Sorry. It's not real gold. Just like one of those cheaper necklaces that um, I will lock up with something else similar. This is a raw funky piece, but it's marked. And sometimes these really funky ones, you'd be a little surprised. So it is marked Napier, which I think is just sold at like what Bergner's. Um, 
And it does have some weight to it, but it's got like this funky silver and gold like seed beads. Yeah, but they're metal, so they have weight to them. Just very funky. So, I don't know. I haven't checked comps on Napier, or I'm probably saying it wrong anyway, but um, I don't know, 15, I could be wrong, but it's not, I don't, I didn't see it stamped to silver or gold, so, if that was, oh my gosh, that would be worth some money, just because it's, it's heavy, okay, this one is interesting because of its shape, now, like, Y2K, actually, junior high, so maybe late 90s, did you guys ever wear those, um, shell necklaces, I would, and um, my hair would always get caught in them and get pulled. But I love the shape. Look at the shape of these. How cool is that? And it's a twist. It's like a twist clasp. I don't think I'll list that individually because it's not really worth it to me. But I did come across another shell necklace that I will probably bundle it with. Here is a pretty turquoise and gold or brown and gold it's like plastic and wood beads but the colors um i do really well with this blue turquoise color a lot of ladies like to wear it so but it is not marked um so i may just put it lot it together with some of my other turquoise colors what is this oh okay so this is a handmade piece from india do you see the way that the stones are set in? Do you see that? Okay, and so there's loops down here, and I'm assuming something was intended to hang from here. I am not sure, but it is marked India. Do you see that? And what they do is they usually have a lot of artisans that make jewelry and, uh, and sell it. So... Yep, um, I don't know how much I'll list this for. I'll check comps, but I really like the the colors. So I, I don't think I'll get a whole lot for it, but yeah, you have to appreciate handmade work. Next. Now, this, this will sell probably for like $10. Alice in Wonderland has a huge following. I like how it's Victorian style. It's kind of like yellowed. It's intended to look like that, um, to look old. But it's just like a little heapy cheap thing. Probably came from Hot Topic or Claire's or something like that. So, yes. $10 Facebook. Sure. Hopefully. I haven't checked comps, but I can't imagine them being worth much. Okay, next, I haven't checked comps on this one, and it is one of the finer pieces that I should probably get listed. It is um, 925 sterling silver, and each charm is actually stamped 925. This is older. I would say, um, well, I'll show you the style. It's like two hands holding two arms coming down. It almost looks like they're holding a carrot. Don't mind my nails. I'm a nail biter, but do you see that? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. What is the the hands holding? I can't tell. But it is a bracelet. March 925. I think it is older. And so I need to do a little bit more research. But yeah. I'd say probably 15 to 20. It just depends. Or more. I Like I said, I need to look it up. Okay, so here is the other shell necklace. What I liked about this one is it's not your typical white. It's like a an off-white and a pale pink. So I like that one. And no markings. So where's this other shell necklace? And I will pair it up with it. Going to list it. No, I can't find it. Okay, well, I will find it later. But okay. Next, we have, this is so lightweight. Love the color. It's just a, a beaded bracelet. Just like the color. Um, 
I'll most likely pair it with something else because it's not worth it to pair on its own. It's a very thin wood, like very lightweight, no markings, just a fun piece. So I'll lot that with something. Okay, this one is a substantial statement necklace that is marked from Chico's. So I need to get it so it lays right for you guys. There we go. It's interesting, it's got like these, uh, it's almost like ribbon. Uh, interesting to say the least, right? A lot going on, a lot. But it's Mark Chico's, I will list it, um, $15. And I apologize for the awning, it's almost uh, bedtime. But I have three little kids and they love jewelry, so it would be very difficult for me to film this when they're awake. So, this is really pretty. I do well um, with jewelry that have birds on it. So this is, what do you think it is? Is it intended to be a duck or a swan? At first I thought it was a peacock, but no, it's it's not. It's like a, a bird flying with multicolor stones set in. And I do not see, uh, it's a modern piece. I don't see any, well, I think it's a modern piece by, you know, there's no discoloration or anything. And it looks like a cheap piece you get for like 10 bucks at Kohl's. But I will put it on Facebook for 10 bucks and see. And it will probably sell. So. I'm trying not to spend too much time on these pieces. Okay. Oh, here's another piece I need to get listed. This is, oh, this is the ring I was telling you. I haven't listed it yet. Here is a Sopata ring. When I first saw it, I was like, please be David Yerman because his pieces are expensive. Um, the style reminded me of David Yerman. Love the look beautiful piece and it's a it's a bigger size I'd say it's like a size eight I have a ring sizer in my drawer because I always take a picture of it on it so people know exactly what size it is but um I can't remember what I have this I have it drafted already and I think I was gonna ask like 30 I think yeah so that's fun right Okay, and then I have a bunch of like stuff here. This is such a cute little brooch. It's like a pale pink and gold with rhinestones. Ladybug. So, so cute. I personally do not like, well, I guess there's a difference between ladybug and an Asian beetle, but here in Illinois, they are a huge pest. This is so cute and dainty. It's a little sandcastle. Or maybe it's not even supposed to be like a sandcastle, just a castle in general. And this one is so there's like a tiny little diamond or diamondette. Diamond you won't, probably won't even be able to see it. But it is, was it marked? I can't remember. I'll probably have to Google lens this and hopefully I can find it because it is interesting. It's some kind of charm. Sorry, it sounds like something just pulled up, but I'm being paranoid. Do you guys hear that? Somebody is squealing, like probably a truck squealing their tires. I'm guessing they have it raised. Yes. Okay. Anyways, um, here we have a Florida de -lis. It looks like silver. I don't know. Um, here's another woven gold tone floral brooch all sell for ten dollars on facebook hopefully i don't see any markings on it it looks like an older style i would say probably like 90s and then this one is vintage it needs a cleaning it's a very pale pink but it is a gorgeous color and shape and cut and i'll sell that one for ten dollars as well no markings And I'm not probably going to show you everything because I'm already half an hour in. This uh, is probably like a cheap Avon piece, but it has a cardinal on it. 
well, it's not colored, so it could possibly be a blue jay, but by the shape, I'm going to say cardinal with a matte green. Um, and this is actually painted. It's probably just a cheap resin. A gold tone chain or pendant necklace. There we go. So I'm guessing it just would come from like Avon, but Avon even marks their pieces. So Oh, and look at this, even the, um, that piece that keeps the lobster clasp attached to the necklace is actually cracked. So unfortunately I will have to put that with, uh, junk jewelry to be repurposed because you could take that pendant off and or you know what I could do? Did I have that? A plain gold necklace. No, I think the gold neck and the necklace I had earlier was silver. I could take the pendant off and just replace it onto the other necklace. Okay, here we have a pair of double hoops. So those will get paired with the other hoops, the other silver hoops down the road. <laughs> like I said, I try to get the more profitable pieces listed first. So I can make my money back as soon as possible. Here's a new piece and I absolutely love it. It is a men's like dog tag style and it says, my dear grandson, forge your own path, anything is possible. And it still has the plastic on the top. So you see that to like protect it and it's got a little compass and then on here it's got a compass as well. And I think it's stainless steel. I believe I thought somewhere I read it was stainless steel. Anyways, um, I could probably get that like fifteen dollars. Yeah. Um, let me show you those hoops. Okay, this love it and it came with one earring so unfortunately I can't sell it with earrings because I don't have its mate but these are actual stone they do have a lot of weight they're like a periwinkle which periwinkle is between blue and purple in case you're not aware but on here it gives more of a blue tone beautiful very intricate beading and has the lobster clasp a lot of times this shape will be like marked silver or anything. Oh, this one is marked. 925. Yep. Cool. So the clasp is sterling silver, which, um, let's see. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I will have to disclose this. So with glass beads, they are fragile. And do you see there is a crack right there? So I'll have to disclose that in the listing, but hopefully I can sell this for like 15. You can buy sterling silver clasps at Hobby Lobby for not much, but if it's got a chain on it, then it's like actual silver chain. Okay. Ooh, these are very interesting to me. I need to do more research, but I believe these are Chinese dragons. And let me know in the comments what you think as well, because they are a matching necklace and bracelet. Really pretty pale green. They're getting washed out here, but I'll try to get them in focus for you guys. I don't know if you're gonna be able to tell their shape. Yeah, you see that? That's pretty cool, right? And then here is the necklace and they are heavy because it's actual carved stone, like polished rock. I'm not sure what kind. I'll have to see the color and see if it's got a certain name, but, and yes, I live by train tracks. It's my life. Okay. I think we're getting near the end. This one I'm listing just because it's interesting. 80s cheap beaded necklace. It's like an off-white, like it's a cream color. But, you know, a lot of people are into that kind of style. So, if I can get $10 for it, that's pretty cool. 
here, okay, these have a name, and I'll have to put it in the corner when I'm editing this video. They sell a lot of these, I think, like on Etsy. They are personal, like, charm uh, necklaces, and you can make bracelets. This one is from the company called Origami Owl. They probably have an Etsy store. It's on a, what kind of chain is this called? I can't remember, but pretty cool. It's got a cheerleader. It's got the letter E, a heart, some like, looks like diamonds and whoops. Yeah. So it's got a letter E and a cheerleader. So somebody with like either the first or last name E and a cheerleader, but yeah, I guess it has rhinestones on this side. So it's pretty, but it will um, take a minute to find the right buyer since it is personalized. Here we have a fake pearl necklace, three strands, yeah, three strands. Like, um, trying to think of the specific colors they use. Why is this all twisted now? Anyways, it's just like a three strand classic necklace that I'll put on Facebook for $10. This one's pretty. I would call this champagne um, pearl. It's not real pearls. They're fake. But love the style of it. It's um, woven or it's like a chain. You can look closely. It's underneath its chain with pearls all over it. Just a bracelet, thick bracelet. It's really pretty. Great for a night out. Might be getting near the end. I don't think I even showed you guys everything from my last box. What does that say? Hmm. I never looked this one up, but it's this is from my previous box. I don't know if I showed it or not. Lips. It's Alice Hubert Paris. Hmm. Okay. Well, everyone. Come back Thursday night. I have lives every Thursday. Is this soap? I think that's soapstone. Looks like soapstone. Could be wrong. Um, I have lives on YouTube every Thursday night. Last week, I accidentally went live on the wrong channel. I don't know what was I was thinking. I wasn't thinking. Yeah, I've these was, the rest of the stuff's from my other box. But um, yeah, come join me. I don't know what I'll be discussing. Last week I discussed Facebook Marketplace and like shared my tips and tricks. I went over my weekly sales highlights and so today is Sunday. So if anything like interesting happens between now and Thursday, I'll discuss it. I usually go over like my business and then at the end I'll talk a little bit personal. But I don't know what my show is going to be about Thursday. I'm thinking about it. So thank you for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was and have you bought these Goodwill Blue Boxes for jewelry. I love it. But I hope you guys are all staying safe and have a thrift delicious day. Bye.